Hi, I'm here today with Dr. Bruno Chickley, the developer of Lymph Drainage Therapy. And we're here to talk about a fabulous, fun class, level three of what we refer to as LDT. Dr. Chickley, would you please share with us all the wonderful stuff in level three? Yes, sure. Level three is my favorite level because it's more osteopathic. For me, it's more something I use every day in my, in my office. Um, we work with the um, the mapping, we go in deep mapping, superficial mapping, uh, we apply it to muscles, we apply it for periosteum around the bone. The bones you have a little bit of a lymph uh, network. Um, mainly something fun, trigger point, how to use a soft fluid technique to use on switching the flow there in the trigger point or acupuncture points or a reflexologic area for example. You always have those stroke when you have to pull the fascia, you know, um, press with the thumbs, and you can just use a very simple technique with fluid to do this, to have the same effect. So that's very fun. More more uh, viscera, spleen and kidneys and heart and, and lungs and things like that. Um, we're gonna, so that's what I, I use every day, the, the viscera, the joints, how to raise the joints with the fluid technique, non-invasive, you're gonna be able to bring back together a lot of those uh, segments and also embryological bones that you don't know how to release usually. For example, you know the two frontal fuse with that metopic suture, so that's a, 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 a joint that sometimes you forget to release. Or for example, um, you have a joint in the embryo between the diaphysis and epiphysis of the bone, so the shaft of the bone and the end of the bone, and sometimes it's not the real joint that goes out. Especially on the knee, for example, it's often the joint between the tibia plateau for example, on each other, tibia plateau. Um, and so it's something that is, uh, we use every day. And uh, we're gonna work also um, with organ of senses. So we're gonna go with the ear, the cochlea, we're gonna go with the eyes, uh, the nose, and the mouth. You know, the gum are often inflamed, the teeth, the tongue sometimes have problems. Sometimes they do surgery on the tongue. Soft palate, hard palate, um, that would help for the eyes and the face. Um, and all that is something very, very important to work. Um, we we'll, we'll work, what else do we work on? So also, <laughs> sciatic nerve? Might yeah, be so we do application on, on the nerve, we do the application with the scar tissue. We do some very special work with the uh, uh, really scar tissue. So it's again something that's very vast, but between the viscera, the joint, and organ of sense, you have something you would use every day in your practice with always the same principle of tuning to specific place in the body, specific rhythm if needed, specific uh, depth, and with a gentle non invasive way to release something hard like a bone, a joint, or a viscera. And so that's why people are so happy because m much, you have much a side effect by being non invasive. You don't have to use uh, force to move any of that. We only use force because we don't no other technique. There's not too many other alternative to uh, to use force on joint, for example. But there's more and more coming, and it's not that they are less efficient. There's often stain that is placed better than just breaking a barrier in the bone. And breaking a barrier barrier in the bone is dangerous. So only some profession can do that. But when you use such a gentle touch, there's absolutely no problem uh, to have a large uh, amount of professional releasing those areas the structures. Fantastic. There you have it. A lot packed into a wonderful class. Thank you, Dr. Chickley. Thank you.